what we're going to look at today is hitting into a headwind or wind into your face if you like um, and what effects that has on the shots that we play. Now um, when, when we hit into the wind we don't create more backspin. Okay? What the wind is doing is it's creating a buffer and a lift. Okay? So it's drag and lift basically, that's what's happening to the ball. So the ballooning effect does not come from more backspin. So backspin is created by creating more club head speed into the ball. So that's how we elevate the ball more. So if you hit the ball harder into the wind, all you're going to do is balloon it up. So what we're going to look at is a way of keeping that spin rate down trying to get that launch angle down as well, as well okay so if I hit a normal shot and we have a look at some figures okay right so see the figures here um, it's my normal swing with a normal club head speed um, see the launch I've got there and the spin rate okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust a couple of things in my setup and my motion and we're going to have a look at how that affects my spin rate and my launch and we're going to look at my club head speed as well okay so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ball position back now when we move the ball position back the tendency is for the club to come more inside so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my weight to the left a little bit as well and when I'm actually making the motion of the swing I'm going to really focus on rotating through and um, holding that club face through the ball as well. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and really slow my club head speed. Now what you'll notice when I finish my shot I will have more curtailed follow through. So I'm using the same club so we're going to have a look at what happens to the launch and the spin Okay, right. So that, that came off. That came off a lot lower. We have. You can see the figures as well here. Um, the other thing you'll notice about the two shots is the difference in the height. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm not. I haven't set my track man up to hit into a wind at the moment, so you, you're not seeing a difference in height. I'm just showing you on a no wind situation, so you can see the difference my technique made to how much spin launch elevation and my club head speed as well you can see it brought it down so hitting hard into the wind won't make the ball go further it creates more spin the more spin you create the more the ball's gonna the more the ball's gonna get lifted by the wind the wind's not creating the spin the the drag and lift from the wind is creating it into that headwind when that happens as well because the ball's ballooning up, it's going to come down steeper, it's going to stop quicker. So that's another thing you have to add into the equation. So even if you're hitting a real low bulleting shot, it's still going to stop quicker than it would with no wind situation. Okay, so when you're playing those shots into wind, just think about that. Um, speed is the killer, slow the swing down, take an additional club, hit at it smooth, make those adaptions in our setup and we'll try and keep that ball flight down and that's going to help you more.